And today I want to talk about Dan Elden, who's one of my major heroes. You know, I first heard about Dan a number of years ago when I was living in Taiwan. I was a freelance journalist, living hand to mouth, traveling around Asia, having a lot of adventures. And I flipped on the TV in Taiwan and I saw Kathy Elden and Amy Elden talking about Dan and the incredible life of, of adventure and creativity that he led. Stavros. Uh, we're the ones that recorded the song for Dan, Neverland. It's about my cousin. Dan's life was so incredible and spontaneous, you know, he uh, spent so much time in Africa having different kinds of adventures, but the most important thing that he did was that he helped people. He and some other children formed uh, kind of an informal NGO, they raised money and they went to help people who were suffering from famine. And that, to me, was the defining difference between Dan and thousands of other people who have adventures. I was having adventures. But I also felt having adventures was kind of narcissistic. You're only helping yourself. But Dan went out, not only to have adventure, he was helping others. And that is another inspiration that we can all take from Dan's life. living in Thailand in a monastery, I heard about the war in Burma, and in that monastery there were a number of young monks who were living there simply because their parents were tribal people who were subjected to genocide in Burma by the Burmese government. And it was creating all these orphans. There were thousands of refugees and orphans coming over the border every day into Thailand seeking refuge. And I was living with a Buddhist monk at that time named Prakru Ba, and through Krakruba and through the other young monks, I heard about the war in Burma, and particularly I heard about the genocide against the Shan people. I'm going to Neverland. In the war in Burma, and particularly in the genocide against the Shan people, I found a cause that interested me, that captivated me, that grabbed me, and it was one that I cared about. And I wanted to help. And when I thought of Dan, I thought of how he went out and helped the African people that meant so much to him. So I wanted to go out and help the Shan people. Shanland, well Burma and Shanland in particular, 
became my special project. And over a period of years, I've done as much reporting as I could. I spent time inside of Burma documenting human rights abuses, making videos, interviewing soldiers, refugees, widows, orphans, people who had their lives shattered and destroyed by the force of the Burmese government. My dreams will keep me old. Uh, yeah, I was inspired to write Neverland. It's about my cousin Dan, and I called it Neverland because he died at such a young age, and it reminded me of the story written by the man called Bari, uh, Peter Pan. Um, Bar in real life, Bari's brother uh, died at the age of 14, and his mother, of course, completely overcome with grief. And she thought that he went to a place where, a happy place where nobody ever grew up, but uh, played out their boyhood dreams throughout eternity, I suppose. Anyway, and this place, of course, was called Neverland. Um, my cousin Dan, Eldon, unfortunately died at a young age. And I sort of thought of him as somebody who went to Neverland. All his ideals, all his youthful energy, everything that uh, we find to be good in almost anybody and everybody. He was, and he is, and he always remained that way because, unfortunately, he died young. He lived uh, this great life that we should all uh, be so inspired about, and hopefully we can live lives like that. The point of the title, Neverland, uh, this great uh, young man not really dying, but going off to Neverland where he could live out his ideals for all eternity. Forget all the days ahead The promised love would ever last I really appreciated when Sam Strabo sent me his video to the song Neverland and I instantly understood the connection with Dan. When I thought of Neverland, I thought of Peter Pan and this magical world where a boy goes and he can explore and he can travel and he can see things and have adventures and that's kind of how Dan lived his life. But at the same time, Neverland and he was talking about being on an airplane that only flies and then can never land. And you can let your hopes and your dreams soar and fly and never land. My heart to a wind And make it bright And never land It never land Never land I've spent the last 10 years of my life in Asia traveling from country to country studying, having adventures, writing books, and helping people when I could, documenting human rights abuses, documenting tribes, helping to give a voice to people who are voiceless. If anybody can take anything from my life or from Dan's life, which is much greater, I hope that you will try to live your life creatively, try to live your life with great vigor, with excitement, with enthusiasm, and along the way, help as many people as you can. But remember, it is not how much you love that is important, but how much you are loved.